Hey guys, so I have a quick share for you today. Um, I decided to play with some of the new dies that I've gotten in. And I finally pulled out my, I guess it's a tiny town um, box die that is from Paper Tray Ink. They put out a new release this month and so I purchased the Sweet Shop um, add-on. And this is the house basics that you need to have before you can use the other dies for it. They have like a schoolhouse, a church, and the sweet shop now. And so you cut two pieces of this and that will make the box for you. And this is part of the new set. It's an awning for the shop. And you also get new doors and windows for the front more windows for the side and you also get some other pieces which are right here um, more doors and windows uh, and flower boxes and a sign um, and I also use this little label here um, because I stamped um, an image to put on my box and I'll show you the stamp set too it's from Paper Tray Ink this is um, this little die comes from this set from Sizzix. It's a Rachel Bright set and it's this one right here. And so I use that. And then this is the stamp set that I used. I used some VersaFine for the ink. And I used this one right here, Hanging by a Thread. And this is the stamp that I used. This one that says Antoinette Mercery. Um, so let me show you. I did use some tilde paper for this because I'm going to be giving something as a gift. And here's the little box it made. So you can see, oh, you can see the sparkle here. Um, the sparkle is from the um, Crafter's Companion, or yeah, Crafter's Companion um, sparkle pens. And the, the paper is tilde paper. It's from this Country Escape pad right here. And uh, there's that stamp that I used with the VersaFine. And because VersaFine, or yeah, VersaFine is um, non-water reactive, when you put that sparkle pen over, it won't smudge it, which is great. Because I also used it on the little window boxes of the flowers that it cuts. Um, and instead of putting the outline of the windows on the sides, I used them only on the front with the door and um, on this side as well. So I made a little shop and I purposely cut the edge of the paper so that um, this was on the awning part of um, the building since the awning is cut separately and you can cut one or you can cut two and I cut two just so that it was symmetrical. And um, there are some treats inside. I think you guys can, if you know Tilda, you know what's in here. Um, so there is a fat quarter in this um, box. It does fit in here with some other things actually. It's not the only thing in here. So it's a good size. I'll, I'll tell you what the dimension of the actual box comes out to be. It's two, just shy of two and three quarters, and it is square. Yep. And then um, I, I guess the peak of the box is a little bit taller than that. Let me get a ruler for it. Mm. The peak of the box is... Oh, just a little over two and three quarters. Okay. So you probably have about two and three quarters on the inside too. But just remember that's at that top point here at the, um, from the bottom to this peak right here. So I just tied it with some organza ribbon and I'm going to be gifting this to a friend. Um, and I hope she likes it. So there you go. This is the PTI uh, paper tray ink. Um, I think they call it Tiny Town Series because they're going to have other things that they're making. But these are certainly bigger than the little tiny ones that fit in the globes. Um, and you can gift little things in here. Um, so this will be good for treat boxes. And the door opens, as you can see. Um, I did fold it so that it would open out. But anyway, that is my little share for you. And here is the sign. I, didn't, I cut it, but I didn't use it because I didn't want to attach this and so I have to send it to the mail through the mail. 
I didn't want to attach this because I know it's going to get all mangled up in the box. It won't it won't survive the shipping, so I didn't want that hanging off. To to make this a little bit tilted so that you could see see it, it wasn't just flat to the roof. I put a little foam tape on just to one side of the actual die cut and then on this side I glued it down to the roof line so that it's tilted. Um, it's not just flat to the roof. So anyway, um, that's my little share. I hope you like it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back with another share. Um, I thought I'd tack these two videos together since it is a Tilda related one. Um, I just finished this card for a friend um, trying to get some cards done for some birthdays. So um, this one is made using the new paper tray ink die, um, the awning or storefront die. You get this die as long as well as these um, which fit into these pieces right here. So I did cut this three times I think. Did I cut it three times? Um, so I use the tilde paper from a couple of different pads. This one's from the corner shop right here and I use the um, what do you call it the die cuts that are in the paper as well so um, these three cakes here come from the paper stack and this pink uh, where the happy birthday is cut out of is just from a pink scrap piece of paper that I keep in a scrap bin and then um, these awning pieces are actually the reverse side of the Tiny Treasures, a piece of paper from the Tiny Treasures pack. So it's a different tilde paper. Um, and I just thought it would be nice to see the contrast of the like blue-gray background here that is the frame. And then this piece of paper comes from the corner shop. Um, so I took this die here and cut um, four of these and then... Um, took the plain ones and alternated them. So you can see some of them have a pattern and some of them are just plain just to give it some extra um, interest. And then I also, these are layered up. So there's actually three layers of these little fingers that come down on the awning. And uh, I use my um, sparkle pen on the letters. And on the inside there is a die cut, again from the paper. And I used this paper, no, not paper tray ink, uh, Stampin' Up Stamp, Carb Smarbs, Eat the Cake. And that came from this set that I um, had also purchased. So um, I've used this one right here in the corner, now I've used that one. So I thought it would be cute and fun. And this is uh, the Michaels 110 pound card cardstock in the cream color. Um, so yeah, that is another card that I've finished, and talk to you soon. Bye.